Hello Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, this is your reading for the month of Feb and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what does in energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Capricorn, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I'd also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Capricorn, I've shuffled the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see your energy and your person's energy. I'll lay down the cards first. So for you, we have Queen of Swords. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. For your person, we have Queen of Wands. Two of Cups, Six of Cups, interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have Knight of Wands. So Capricorn, what you need to know? Okay, so first of all, if I have to talk about the zodiac signs, I see... Uh, Sagittarius, I see Pisces, I see Cancer, I see Aries, I see Taurus. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Uh, right. So we have Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is telling me, uh, Capricorn, that you're coming ex across as extremely defensive, extremely, extremely defensive, okay? Uh, extremely defensive because... There is something that you're trying to protect something that is extremely near and dear one to you or uh, extremely that is emotionally close to you it can be a work it can be a person for some of you you probably someone is pregnant over here and you're trying to keep that as a secret either you are pregnant or someone else is pregnant for some of you uh You probably might be trying to build something and you're trying to hide it from the rest of the world. Okay. And uh, I mean, you, you had this uh, previous experience. You had this experience that you, you probably shared with uh, people whom you thought are trustworthy, that you're doing something in your life. You have just started it and all that stuff or you're planning to start it and boom. It like literally uh, nothing worked out, okay? And this is something that you have experienced when you share something that uh, that you are about to start, you're about to do this, you're about to do that, okay? It tends to attract so much of negativity that you literally feel like you should stop working towards whatever you're doing. And you might have done this. You might have literally given up on certain projects that you wanted to work upon, okay? You joined the online classes and you shared with some of your friends like, hey, I've started learning so-and-so, I've started learning a new language, I've started learning a new skill, now I'm doing this, I've started a new YouTube channel, and bang. You literally, you stop attending the classes, you literally stop working towards whatever you're doing, and you simply, you don't understand why this is happening. And probably after some experience, you realize that when you share something, you actually attract negativity towards you. So you better not do that. Okay? So that's why I see there is something that you're guarding, a big secret of your life that you're guarding. Uh, and 
I think so. You will literally not share this with anyone else for the entire life. Maybe hardly with chosen few, with one or two people. That's it. Not nothing. No one beyond that. There is there is a big secret that either you have discovered, you have started working towards something, and you don't want anyone else to know. That's what I'm getting. Okay. For some of you, this can also be a slight defensive energy over here. Like you are, you are uh, definitely uh, not ready and willing to tolerate any kind of BS that is coming towards you, and you suspect that there are certain energies who are willing to throw BS at you, and you are ready and you are prepared and you are geared geared up with everything uh, that you want to say in your defense. Okay. uh you probably are also anticipating certain arguments or fights from someone and you're preparing yourself for that that's what i'm getting for some of you not applicable for all but cho for chosen few as far as seven of pentacles is concerned i do feel like you are attracting a lot of money you, there is a, a tremendous amount of positive energy when it comes to money it is telling me uh it is telling me that your bank balance will keep on growing now onwards your bank the growth of your bank balance won't stop okay something that you're meant to experience in this lifetime something that you are uh it is it is quite justifiable if you experience this it is is coming towards you it's like probably uh If you if you are see for example you are putting in lot of reward uh, putting in lot of hard work towards something, okay, and what recognition what appreciation should have come towards you did not come towards you or it was not allowed to come towards you something was blocking that. Finally, it is coming towards you, and it is coming towards you in huge numbers, okay. Uh, say for example. you you have put in lot of hard work and you are the 9 to 5 person and in since last 3 to 4 years no promotion has come towards you and now this year not only the promotion will come towards you but there will be lot of awards and rewards that are coming towards you at the same time there is like 200 person 300 person salary hike that is happening and you are promoting say for example if you were eyeing a managerial position but you are being directly promoted to a vice president position or a senior managerial position so something that will something of that sort might happen okay uh so i see some you you be ready to receive the abundance uh, that is coming towards you capricorn i i certainly feel like whatever is coming towards you is coming towards you real fast especially with eight of wands next to uh seven of pentacles and by the way you might be seeing some consecutive numbers 678 or 3332 so eight uh, eight of wands eight of wands is telling me that if you are expecting some important communication like a mail call for the interview or uh, i i just heard if you are expecting a call from an advocate i don't know if there is some sort of litigation that is going on if you are waiting uh, for this call from the advocate of you or if you are waiting for a call from uh, your person your romantic interest okay or or any text message and etc so that is coming towards you and i also feel like if you're doing something to attract money and love please continue doing that because that is actually helping you attract the money and love that you want in your life okay uh it is helping you so i mean if anything you're doing like chanting mantras listening to the mantras or chanting or writing down the affirmations please continue doing that it is actually helping you okay so do not do not kind of stop it do not stop doing that okay so and if you're not doing anything then i would suggest you to do it suggest you to read or write affirmations if you are comfortable with hearing or listening to mantras related to love money okay go ahead and do that whatever you believe in you can go ahead and do that okay because that will help you that will accelerate the process for you that's what i'm getting then we have queen of wands 
queen of wands is telling me this is related to your love life related to your person queen of wands is telling me that whoever this person is they probably are stalking you they are trying to collect information about you and they are waiting for the right time to come towards you this person is actually extremely eager extremely uh, eager and it is difficult for them to control and hold themselves back okay they experience tremendous amount of adrenaline rush when they see you when they uh, deal with you or probably if they get some sort of information about you they experience so much of adrenaline rush uh but i think so this person is waiting for the right time they want things to work out between you and them and that is why this person uh they are they are making sure that they don't mess things up they don't uh, make any wrong move or they don't come towards you at the wrong time that's why i feel like this person is patiently waiting for uh for right time and you know come towards you when they think it's right for them to come towards you two of cups is telling me that some confessions might happen if you guys are going out on dates already with someone i think so someone is going to confess their feelings to you even if you are single i certainly feel some offers are coming towards you people will ask you out on date and it it sort of looks like uh it is quite possible that you might get into this connection real fast it is quite possible that you might get into this um uh, like the the development of this connection the escalation uh, of situations in this connection will happen real fast like you guys will start going out on dates and then expression of feelings will happen probably some of you will decide to start living in together some of you might decide to get into a committed relationship some of you might decide like in next 6 months let's get married or in next one year let's get married okay so something of that sort is happening i think so universe is bringing you and this person together okay universe is playing the role to bring both of you together and i do see this is going to be a very soul satisfying connection like you won't have a chance to complain about this person that's what i'm getting i mean your expectations will get fulfilled in this connection i do see you will be in a happy place i do see that you are certainly uh in a place where you're you're feeling very satisfied and you are be feeling very content okay so that's what i feel with the two of cups six of cups is telling me that this is a soulmate of yours for some of you i'm getting uh, a twin flame energy as well for some of you this person can be both capricorn or twin flame or and a soulmate uh, this person is going to be very loving kind and gentle whether it's a man or a woman uh, this person has a lot of nurturing energy this person will be a giver uh, of course they will make sure that uh, they are also receiving from you um but it there is going to be equal give and take i mean both of you will be aware that if both of you want this connection to work out there has to be equal give and take so i don't see any sort of imbalance over here but love yes there is tremendous amount of love in this something uh that you have not experienced and something that your soul is craving for your soul deep down is craving for this craving for this true love and that is coming towards you okay all right i hope this resonates and uh, hit like share and subscribe comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person okay just a sec i'll show you the cards so these are your these are your cards capricorn okay take care have a great time and bye bye